The Rise of Skywalker is set to introduce many different twists and turns, as well as revelations that will lead to saga-wide implications in this story by director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, we do know that this movie really is going to be a big film since it has the return of Emperor Palpatine slash Darth Sidious. Ever since the fans heard his laughter at the very end of the teaser trailer, back, of course, in April of this year, it left a lot of fans very much eager to learn more about Palpatine and exactly how he will be used in this film. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this movie, and when it all comes down to one of the plans by George Lucas, J.J. Abrams, and even Chris Terrio, this is where things begin to get very intense for Episode 9. Now, specifically, what's really intriguing about all of this is that it's described that during the rewrites of the film between J.J., Chris Terrio, and George Lucas during the months of November and December of 2018, is that many adjustments were made to some of the revelations in the film. It's described that one of the plans by George Lucas was to make the big twist of Darth Sidious bigger than the I Am Your Father moment, and that the twist of Palpatine being bigger than the I Am Your Father moment is said to have nothing to do with the spirit of Sidious, however something else that is described to be unexpected to the fans around the world. The twist for Palpatine took around three weeks to write, with trial and error, involved with how the story flowed and actually flowed throughout the story from start to finish. But it was George who was able to make it work with J.J. and Chris Terrio. The Palpatine reveal that is described to be bigger than the twist in Empire Strikes Back is said to have a large impact on how fans will look back at Palpatine in the prequels and originals, and that Ian McDermott is said to reveal and is said to actually be a part of this revelation as Palpatine to both Kylo Ren and Rey in the plot of the film. Now, additionally, it's also said that George Lucas also aims to make Rey's identity reveal also bigger than the I Am Your Father moment from Empire. Now, I really want to go over a couple of parts about this because we do know that George Lucas, JJ, and Chris are the big three creators of Episode 9 that's really going to end the sequel trilogy and the Skywalker saga in an epic way. And a lot of fans are just really worried on whether or not it's going to be a positive or a negative experience for, you know, themselves that go ahead and see this movie come December of this year after The Last Jedi and the backlash it received. So, with that being said, Palpatine's reveal, one of the big plans by Disney and Lucasfilm, J.J., George Lucas, is to make it bigger than that of the Empire Strikes Back reveal. The same exact thing goes for Rey's identity reveal, being planned to be bigger than the I'm Your Father moment, just like the Palpatine reveal here. However, this particular twist has nothing to do with the spirit of Sidious, per se, entering the Dark Acolyte's body. But this twist, however, has something to do with something else entirely that is said to be very unexpected and will change how we view the character of Palpatine in the originals and, of course, in the prequel trilogy era. Now, this really mind boggles me because it makes one wonder exactly what Disney and Lucasfilm have in store, or what kind of tricks up their sleeves they really have right now for the character of Darth Sidious in, ep in Episode 9. Now, involving all of this, we do know that Palpatine really is going to be a prominent figure in this movie. He's not going to be a mere cameo. He's not going to have a small presence in the film. He really is going to be quite a large character in Episode 9, and is really going to be pulling the strings, you know, from start to finish of this movie, which is going to be very interesting to see exactly how that's going to be executed on the big screen. So as far as everything else goes for Episode 9, we do know that this film is going to offer a very unique experience when it comes to Darth Sidious, and a lot of people are suggesting and are wondering on whether or not maybe, you know, Palpatine is, of course, connected to a revelation that's really going to make us realize certain pieces of dialogue in a different light now in the prequel trilogy era. Now that George Lucas, J.J., and of course Chris Terrio are aiming to make this reveal of Palpatine bigger than the I'm Your Father moment. Now, like I've always said before in the past, I'm not even quite sure if you can top the I Am Your Father moment for two reasons. Number one, it was the first major twist in the Star Wars franchise, if not the only big one. And number two, all right, is that nobody was really expecting to see any kind of revelation or twist 
back in the 1980s. You know, nobody was really expecting that. So the fact that they weren't expecting it is what really made it so unique and powerful. And the fact that it's so well known in pop culture also amounts to that. So with episode nine, you know, aiming to really top the I'm Your Father moment, not just through the Palpatine reveal slash twist here, but also through Rey's identity. It really does make one wonder on whether or not the Rey's identity reveal and the Palpatine twist are going to be interconnected, since both of these reveals and both of these different twists are actually aimed to be bigger than the I'm Your Father moment. So with that being said, guys, you know, I would really love to hear what you all have to say about this below what you think about Palpatine's reveal coming up in episode 9 and exactly what it really could all mean. Keep in mind that this particular twist has nothing to do with the spirit of Sidious, but this is something else entirely different, which is very interesting for sure. Anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Gun in hand, we are alone again. No, I am not the one from night.